Welcome everyone to another session of the Mastermind Book Club. Here with us today in this evening's review, we have five of our members, including me. Five, including me. The name of the book that we are having a summary for is Master Your Emotions, Part 2 by Thibut Maurice. Hope I didn't butcher that name too badly. So in order to call upon our first mastermind member i'd like to just mention thank you reggie for taking your time to stop and go over this summary so reggie hilliard go ahead good evening everyone reggie hilliard from the mastermind book club and we're covering this book around mastering your emotions this is the second half of the, the book so basically there are many ways in which we can master our emotions but a lot of what that entails essentially is to go into ourselves so a lot of things that may be kind of bothering you, that may be on top of you, could come down to you affecting you in certain ways, whereby it affects how you behave. And if it affects your mood, it affects your emotions, whether you might be depressed, whether you might be sad, whether you're not, whether you, whether you may be uh, unforgiving of, of people, whether you may be going through different things you know, at that particular time. All of these things are affecting you, right? So you have to really take inventory of yourself. And if you take inventory of yourself, you can begin to dissect some of those things that may be on top of you. And as you do that, as you go deeper into yourself, you begin to uncover what it is that's affecting you in those different ways. And as you begin to mend some of those things and fill in some of those gaps, you can then become a better person in a sense. And it can then help you to overcome some of what is uh, uh, causing certain behavioral issues or certain uh, outward emotions. And then you can begin to become a little bit more whole. So that is something that a lot of us, if we just took the time and we made an examination of ourselves, we can get to a place where we can become a, a more complete individual, and then we can get ourselves a little bit more in tune and a, little, a lot more in focus, and basically we can then overcome some of the emotional baggage and issues that we're contending with, thereby making us or having us feel a lot better about ourselves. So that's what I'll offer tonight. Awesome, Reggie. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Aurelia, ready? Yeah. Hey, guys. Um, I mean, so I think my takeaway from like the end of the book, one of the main things, you know, just following up on what Reggie said was like rec recognition. So like realizing that, hey, I'm feeling sad because of this, because so and so. And let's take steps to change that. Like one of the things it said was if you're feeling sad about something, as humans, we tend to um, think about the happy moments we had. But let's say like someone passed away in our life, we tend to think about the happy moments we had with them and we ch interchange it into sadness because now they're gone. And instead of doing like focusing on that, when you are feeling depressed, just feel the feelings, you know, I like leave the, you know, like not to focus too much on those past thoughts and more of like moving forward. And I just, I really enjoyed that part of just, you know, recognizing, hey, this is how I'm feeling and let's, like focus and let's go forward and move forward from that. So that was really great. Aurelia, sometimes we don't move forward and, and that is the truth. We just got to admit and move forward. And that, so that's correct. Thank you. Charles Comer. Hey, good evening, everyone. Charles Comer, the Mastermind Book Club. Uh, I, life begins once you step one foot out of your comfort zone. Uh, one of my favorite quotes is ego, edging God out. A lot of times we feel depressed and and just off our 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 normal being because we 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 focus on competition too much. We focus on uh, just too many material things in our life. A lot of times because we we look, I guess, at others, and really uh, the main thing is you should be looking at yourself and not really be envious of anyone. I've always wanted to play in the NBA. <laughs> that was a childhood dream. And then back then, we didn't have Michael Jordan or LeBron. You had guys like Oscar Robinson and uh, Lou Alcindor before he changed his name to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. We had Wilt Chamberlain. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm aging myself a little bit. But I would get out on the court and do my best to, to imitate these guys. But Really, all you can be is the best you. You can only be the best you. Every day when you get up, you have to 
get into a change of mindset that, that God put you here for a purpose and that you are your own champion. No matter what happens to you, you can change your mindset. And in changing your mindset, you can change how you feel. We can conquer our emotions just by changing the story that we put out in our mind. And, you know, if if you feel, you, you know, you, your emotions can also change by it. Stop focusing on yourself. Stop being selfish. Many times we, we get depressed because you cannot change something. Because you can't change it, you get angry. Because you get angry, you get depressed. So the thing is, Look to look to change the things that we can change. Look to do the things that you can do. Don't be envious of other people. Learn to to meditate, to pray, to exercise. All these things will and and definitely pray. Definitely pray. Seek your purpose that that God has you on the planet, and you'll have a better outlook in life. Your your life will definitely change if you're feeling these tremendous emotions of depression or not being yourself. And that's what I have to share for tonight. Thank you. Charles, thank you. Thank you, Charles. Appreciate that. Martha Johnson. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, this is an amazing book about emotion. It's a physical sensation. They all we uh, feel in our body. It has to be aware how to control this emotion. This emotion can control our body in different ways, in positive ways and negative ways. And um, we have uh, also we have a, a natural tools uh, uh, can control our emotions, like listen to the music, do a meditation, yoga, and uh, control your ego, and, and make sure you have like a um, the way you put uh, things in your body, like the food. Make sure you control your emotions too. And we have a. Um, a we usually doctors prescribe things for emotion like anxiety, depression, but we have another natural tools we can help our body to avoid this kind of uh, negative um, emotion in natural way. And I believe more in natural way than in the chemical way. That's where I got. That's my getaway for this tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much, Martha, for sharing. The I don't know if Tawana wants to speak. I don't see her. I can't see her face, but um, uh, if she's not available, we understand. Tawana, are you available or not? Don't we don't hear you? Oh, I am, but it's showing my thumb. It's not showing me. It's showing like I. It's like I got a test. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm my my phone fell in the water. It's all kind of stuff. So welcome to comedy. And now it only finally just came back on. I'm, I kid you not. Even the um the flashlight, everything. It's the kids fine. threw it in the water. Well, if you want to say well, something you brief, you can say speak. Something so brief. you can speak. Say something brief. Oh, okay. So actually, what I did get from the book this is, is Tawana like, Williams, by the way. Sorry, Tawana Williams. Right, it is. I'm so sorry, guys, how everything is so jacked up. But actually, what I got from the book is that um, it's all in how we think about everything. Because the thought, you know, the thoughts is like projection. So when we are projecting certain emotions and dwelling on it, then that becomes like our I will be all with all or whatever you want to call it. And I'm learning like from my own experiences to stop doing that, you know, like, cause a lot of times I have to be honest, I've had a lot of negative influences around me. So from young, so I mean, when I got, as I started getting older and then I started feeling like, um, you know, I don't really want to do this stuff that these negative influences is trying to say is the norm for me. So what I did was I did to be different. And then I started learning how to say no. I started learning how to say that, no, I don't feel like doing that today. Or I don't, I'm not interested in that direction. And then I did notice change in people when I did that. So I'm, I said, listen, you know, even up to now in, in my life, it's like if we as, a, as individuals don't take advantage of like, like 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 what Charles was saying, like the blessings that Most High has given to us, and then we kind of like like verse that 
against like negative thinking. If we if we continue to do the negative, then it's like it's it's downplaying the positive. And like he was saying in the book, that's what's gonna be your life. Your life is gonna become what you think about. So it's that book was very inspirational. And um, I learned a lot, still learning. And no matter what, I still follow the books. Okay. So that's that. I'm going to go on that one. And thank, thank you. you so much for letting me speak. Thank you, Tawana. Thank you. Now, to sum up this book, Mastering Your Emotions, one, have anyone ever heard of VAWA, V A W A? Violence Against Women's Act. Violence Against Women's Act. Why am I bringing this up? Well, some of us, including where I live, we have to fill that out quite regularly just to be certain that we men are not committing acts of violence against women. But at this day and age, it could be women towards men. And those rights haven't come out yet, but they are on the rise as well. Why? I mean, I'm not a scientist, but I can tell you that the Average woman now is not just feminine based, the, the younger ones specifically, but now they are more sort of on a level that is coming to be of equal to men. So in other words, although men are usually the ones who are doing the violence, now it could be women. But what does this mean and why does this come out? Because this book is about mastering your emotions. We don't know when it's going to affect me or it's going to affect you. However, we do know that when it affects, it brings in a psychological change in our persons. Some of us will come, become overweight. Some of us will become very slim. Some of us will not want to eat. Some of us will eat gluttons and we won't gain any weight. Whatever it is, just be aware of. One, you have people to reach. If you don't, why don't you have five people that if you have an emergency, you can count on? Five, five people. Now, this is something that I've known for a while, but this book just makes an awareness that we don't always master our, our emotions. And what we do is we enclose ourselves. So be aware that if you have five people that you can trust on on a regular basis, that no matter what time of day it is that you could call them, then you're ahead of the game. So this is the Mastermind Book Club signing off. You can see that there are many ways to look at this book from the six of us that are present here. And no one is the perfect way, but utilizing bits and pieces from each one makes you a better person. Take care and until next week, we'll review another empowering book. Bye.